Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I use my wallet system through the Traveler's Company Passport. And I bought this uh, five years, four or five years ago. And I've been using it as a wallet ever since. Um, nothing has really changed the way that I've used my wallet in the past, I'm going to do math in my head, five years. Um, so... I wanted to show you what I bought for this to make it more of a wallet and how affordable it was and where you can buy it as well. So for this, when I bought this, it was $35. I know that they have gone up in price since then, but the, this is a passport size and this is in brown, but I spent $35 on this. And there's a few things that I bought from AliExpress. I bought a bag of brass charms to kind of weigh down my little, um, bookmark that it comes with. It does come with one strand, strand that you can um, piggyback, but I actually use a smaller strand for my insert. Now this insert I bought on AliExpress and I hold my cards. So what I do is I don't, is I actually like group up my debit cards and my ID together because I tend to always grab my ID and then I grab, and then I group up all of our health insurance cards. And then any extra cards that are like store gift cards or any type of coupons that I need to use, I stuff them in this little pocket. And then the zipper actually holds some cash in there and it holds some extra cards, uh, like gift cards or um, library cards. So not everything is on my phone. Not everything, you know, I don't keep an app of all of my cards. I, I just don't like to do that. But I did get some things on AliExpress. I got this little um, pen holder. It wasn't expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below of where I got this from. So if you're interested in the same products, you can buy it as well. I think that I paid, at the time that I bought this, I think that I paid only $8 for this, but now I see that they're like 12 or 15. So they're still a good price because this is completely made of leather. And I've had this for several years and it's not come apart. I mean, the stitching's been great. Um, I really wanted the mustard yellow one, but they didn't have it. So the, co the shop contacted me and asked me if the olive green one was okay. And I said, sure, that one was okay. Cause it goes really good with the brown. I just wanted kind of neutral colors. So I just, what I do is I just put this on the little string and I feel that if I don't piggyback my wallet, it holds it everything a lot better. So I put that on the little string because it does have notches in here that can hold it pretty nicely and snugly. And then I typically have a craft folder in here, but I, I took it out for some reason. I was gonna make another one. And I don't remember where I put that, that craft folder. I'm gonna have to get it, find it. But I typically carry a notebook with me, a blank notebook, and after it's filled out, I cover it up with stickers and use it for a vintage journaling. So I repurpose my notebooks all the time, but usually this has like, a list or if I talk to a friend and I get a phone number or something I mean I just write down anything and if we're going to the store I write down a list of what I would like to get or sometimes I have a brain dump and I'm sitting there at a doctor's office I'll pull this out of my purse and I'll just start writing my brain dump out on this so I love having a notebook but let me go ahead and fill this up off camera so that you can see how nice that everything fits in here with my cards now if I mean like I can stack four cards into one section of the card slots so if you have a lot of cards I mean you can still probably use this it would be it would be a really nice compact wallet with um, a place to hold a pen and I just clip on a pen that has some type of metal clip and I clip it on on here and then I kind of hold it together like that. And I put it in my wallet and I carry it that way. Sometimes I actually do use a binder clip though too for my pen. And like I said, I typically will put a small little mini binder clip on my craft folder. That way it holds it really good. And then all I do is clip my pen under the binder clip just like that. And then I wrap it up and go. So it's the perfect wallet. And it has lovely character. This this little leather has gotten wet, like soaked wet a couple of times. And so it 
has a different shine and everything else from, uh, I think it's just from getting wet. It has a different shine than the ones that haven't gotten wet. I mean, this is my blue one and it has a nice, I think they all have a nice shine, but this one feels different. It just feels different just because it's gotten wet all the time. Um, but I still love it and it's nice and soft. And this is the Traveler's Company wallet for me. And it wasn't expensive. I mean, I do not, I'm not one that likes to get lots of shoes or likes to get lots of purses. So I'm not one that likes to get lots of wallets either. So I've had this for five years and it's been the perfect wallet for me. And I don't want to change it out with anything. Once in a while though, when I do decide to change it out, I simply move into, like if I want to combine a planner, a pocket planner, I simply grab my Chic Sparrow pocket planner, traveler's notebook, and I stick in, let me get an emptier one so that I can show you what it looks like. It still looks really nice. I just take out the wallet insert portion of it and I simply just stick it right into the pocket um, that I have on the string here. And it also gives me extra it also gives me extra card slots in here, as well as notebooks for planning some things. And it also gives me its own pen loop. So this is super easy to switch back and forth between wallet and planner system. I really, really love that waxed leather um, insert that I bought from AliExpress. It has a really nice smooth zipper on it and it's, it's made with, it's, it's made really well. For the price point, it's you can't you can't buy anything cheaper than that. So I'll go ahead and link that below if you guys are interested in that. I can't say that they'll have you know this color in stock because I don't know what they have. As I said, I bought this several years ago, and that was the color option that they were able to give me. But um, it's really cute and it's it's extremely functional for the the size. And if you guys have any questions. Or want to see anything additional about my traveler's notebook setups feel free to leave a comment below and I hope you really enjoyed this video and that I hope it was helpful to you um, if you're thinking about doing a wallet combination for your traveler's notebook as well so everybody I want you to have a really great day and thank you for watching my video